Hey everyone, it's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. Let's go ahead and talk about signs that your fish might be on the verge of dying. Signs that your fish might be ill and is not doing good. So what you want to look for is appetite. That's the number one thing that you want to look for in a fish and you want to know and see if they are eating on a daily basis because a healthy fish is one that's going to eat every time you put food in there regardless if they're full regardless if they're hungry a hungry fish is a healthy fish just remember that keep that in mind and don't forget there could be a number of reasons why your fish is not eating and honestly guys it's not easy to determine what's wrong with your fish but there are things that you can do to try to save your fish although you have to catch it early on because if you don't, it's really hard to get your fish to recover from whatever it is that they're going through. Fish are very sensitive, and like I said, if you don't catch them in time, then they're gone. Okay, That's just the way fish are, and sometimes they even get to the point where they just kill themselves by you know getting close to the filter and letting the filter kill them, pretty much. At least that's what happens to me most of the time. But uh, another sign is that they like to seclude themselves um, from everybody else so this clip right here I was getting ready to feed my fish and I'm showing you guys right here how as soon as I put my hand up all of my angelfish come running towards my hand because they know that I'm gonna put some flakes in there now what you're gonna see is how that angelfish back there is secluding and isolating himself from the rest of the fish. He's not interested at all in eating whatsoever. Um, something's bothering him to the point where he doesn't even want to eat anymore. Um, also, you can see some uh, nipped fins on his uh, back fins. Somebody correct me and uh, tell me the proper term for the back fin of an angelfish there. And you can see He's been bullied, it seems, or she. I think that's a female. It looks like she's been bullied. And I don't know if that's what happened, but that's that's what I was thinking. And usually when that happens, they like to isolate themselves and they don't really want to eat. They show no interest in greeting you into the front of your aquarium. And the best thing to do is to try to move them to their own quarantine tank. Now, if you catch them in time, then you can go ahead and dose some Melifix in there. And Melifix is really good at treating almost pretty much everything. Uh, Melifix can repair fins. It can repair. It can treat like parasites, internal uh, sickness in fish, and deworm them. Um, there are better medications out there, but Melifix is the one that I'm most familiar with. And I wouldn't recommend Melifix to people if I didn't think it was a good product. I'm not sponsored in any way, although that would be nice if Melifix would pay me for mentioning their brand. But no, I'm not getting paid for that. But Melifix is what you want to do. Um, but check this out. So, you know, healthy angelfish, you know, they're going to the surface because they see me and they're waiting for the food. And he's back there secluded. He's isolated, and you know that's no bueno. It's no good. Now, the most important thing when you spot something like this is, of course, to act fast, but also don't panic, and also make sure um, to go on the internet and research um, the symptoms um, because every fish is going to be different. After you do some research online um, and get a better idea of what's going on with your fish. Go ahead and do a water change. As you can see, my water was a little dirty. So initially what I thought was maybe the angelfish just needed, you know, better water, even though the water wasn't even that dirty um, because the plants look OK. Um, the fish looked OK. You know, they were active. They were swimming. And one of the main reasons why I have plants in the tank is because plants are a good indicator of where your water quality is at. If your water quality is bad, your plants will know before your fish do. So I didn't, you know, I didn't know if it was going to help or not, but I did it anyways, and it didn't seem like it helped. Um, and I put the angelfish in a quarantine tank. And that's another thing you should do is if you see that your fish is acting odd, 
go ahead and isolate them in a quarantine tank and try to put some Melafix in there or some medication, whatever uh, type of medication that you feel comfortable using for your fish. Go ahead and do that. Some people recommend that you put salt. Um, also, try to cover the intake of the filter with a net or a, a mesh of some sort because sick fish will, like I said earlier, they will try to kill themselves with the filter again at least in my experience so that's why you'll see a net here in these clips but uh honestly uh at this point i felt like the fish was going to die anyways but i still try to help um, another thing you can do is test the water and that's what i did as well and the water seemed fine uh test the water uh see what's going on with your water quality maybe there's uh too much chlorine maybe there is chlorine in there maybe uh, some nitrates maybe there's something funky going on in the water quality so make sure to check that also maybe the temperature is a little off um, if you don't have a thermostat in your aquarium and you're not sure if the water is too cold or too hot um, I mean I usually stick my finger in there and I know what good what's a good temperature range for my fish um, but you know, if you're a beginner, then, you know, put a thermostat in there and angelfish, if you have angelfish, they like to swim in temperature ranges, I would say 78 degrees through 82 degrees. So that temperature range is perfect for angelfish. Um, so those are just some of the things that you can do to try to save your fish, um, but you know, sometimes fish can't be saved and that's actually what happened in this case here with my red koi, which I loved and I wanted my koi angel fish to last a lifetime, but you know, sadly I won't be able to see this fish grow and be with me, um, years on end. So since I already went over what to do in case your fish is acting out I can go ahead and just kind of explain to you guys and talk to you guys about what happened with this fish so as you can see I did move him into a quarantine tank I did everything that I explained earlier but uh, the fish was already at a point where it just didn't seem like it wanted to live anymore so the only thing that I could do was just really sit and watch my fish die which was not a really good feeling for me you know I really didn't want to go through that and I was really hoping that you know my angelfish dying curse would come to an end but it doesn't seem like it's coming to an end so what I'm gonna start doing is I'm really gonna get serious like very serious with everything that's going on with my tanks um, I'm not gonna get any more fish for a very long time because uh, something's obviously going on uh, with my tanks. Um, or it, it could be me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But, you know, like I've said, I've had a lot of fish in the past. And, you know, I've never done anything to kill my fish um, consistently like I have been in the past few months. Um, a lot of you guys have seen uh, the blue angelfish that I got that, that died. And then I also had the koi angelfish from Angels Plus die. So, and, you know, there's something going on with my tank. And I, I just, I can't seem to figure it out. So, you know, a lot of people might watch these videos and think I'm a horrible fish keeper, but I'm not. Um, and really, I didn't want to post this video, but, you know, I need some help. So that's why I decided to post this video because I need somebody um, that watches my videos to, you know, give me some good advice. Uh, I think this is the only video that you guys will hear from me asking for advice from you guys. I know that YouTube has a lot of good fish uh, YouTubers that make videos and that are very experienced in what they do. And so I'm reaching out to you experienced fish keepers to try to help me out because I'm really desperate at this point. So honestly, I'm willing to take any advice that any of you guys watching this video will give me. You know, anything that can help me, I'll be more than happy to take it. I would definitely appreciate it. Um, 
also you know like i've already tested my water everything was great so maybe maybe i need to change the angelfish that i have because there are a few silver platinums in there that are pretty big and i think that might be the issue so maybe i'll have to set up another tank somehow and give them their own tank because i think those fish are just too big and they might be bullying these fish to death because the fish that i've gotten were juveniles the ones that have died were juveniles so i think that might be the issue so i'm gonna try and figure something out for those three silver platinums but still in any advice or information would be greatly appreciated if you're new to the channel and you found any of the information helpful please subscribe also make sure to like this video it'll help me a lot and make me feel better and i'll see you guys in the next video take care guys bye